I was scared. Everybody is scared. Okay? What makes you so better than me? That you don't have to go through being scared too. This is part of it. Raise your hand if you think that your business will be massive. You don't think so? Yeah, you better raise your hand, bro. You better raise your hand. I'm going to come down there. Let me sum it back up, okay? Understand the end result, four years. That's the tipping point. I found that four years is the tipping point to be in the number one agent. I'll tell you what, you do that for four years, you're the number one agent in Miami. Problem is, nobody's going to do it. Let me sum it back up. Exact property owners, instead of random for $100 on Zillow, let me get the exact person for two cents on Red X. Let me get the exact person I want to talk to, call them just to make friends, followed by a weekly email on the same day of the week forever. Okay? That's the strategy. I mean, that, that's how I'm selling 100 properties a year. If anyone here knows a better strategy that's more cost efficient, productive, effective, if, if anyone here knows a better strategy than what I just said, please speak now. I can, I can sit in my office for two cents a piece and not have to walk anywhere and blow through 80 numbers in an hour. I can probably knock, I don't know how many I can knock an hour, but not 80. So not as efficient. Listen guys, what, what we just witnessed here is the definition of crickets. It's the definition of crickets. How many people here have, have used my strategy and are, feel like you're having some success? Okay, okay. People are coming up to me to take a picture saying, I've been doing what you're saying and I'm getting all kinds of listings. I'm calling Red X, I'm getting all kinds of listings. This is God's gift. I'm giving it to you on a silver platter. I'm not charging you a dime. I'm not charging you nothing. My question is this. I just asked you guys if there was a better strategy at all whatsoever. Only one person said door knocking, right? Out of 800 and something agents. Nobody even tried to debate. I'll give you guys another chance. If, if no one in this room can tell me a better strategy than what I just said, then why aren't you doing it? Silver platter, Ricky delivers to you. Why aren't you doing it? The reason why you're not doing it, scared to make calls. Tell me if this makes sense. You get in a business, the whole premise is to talk to people you don't know to help them buy and sell real estate. Right? It's the whole, that's the whole business. And you won't call people that you don't know to help them buy and sell real estate. Does this make any sense? Whenever agents come to me and say, how do I get over the fear of making calls, Ricky? I'm so scared. I was scared. Everybody is scared. Okay? What makes you so better than me that you don't have to go through being scared too? This is part of it. Guys, let me change your perspective. You ready? What you think is rejection is your prospect telling you what they want to do. It's not rejection, it's them telling you what they want to do. When, they, when you went to the listing appointment, they interviewed several, they picked a different one. That's not an attack on your character. That's not a personal insult. They felt better with this agent. You should be happy for them. If you're in this business to help people, right? And you really do value relationships over transactions. Why do we get mad when our aunt uses a different agent? 
And we, and we go to them, we say, what are you, you, what, what are you doing? Because now it's like, you're only my nice aunt if, you, if I'm making money. Not if you're doing what you think is best for you. No, I'm against that. We're only close family if you're doing something that benefits me financially. When you know something works, when you see something that is efficient, because it's two cents and you, you target the exact person, and scalable weekly email, doesn't matter if there's 500 or 5 million, it still takes you 30 minutes a week to do. Now you have a very efficient and scalable business. You go all in. That's what I did, I went all in, right? What I think is gonna happen moving forward, guys, this really tight market, okay? Really tight market, where are we at? What's gonna happen? What do you guys need to do to prepare? My thoughts are this. The way I see it, we are in the, the largest by far, by far bubble. Seller bubble. People who want to list properties bubble. You understand? Not price. I actually think prices are pretty solid. We may see some fluctuation, but again, who knows? If somebody tells you they know what's gonna happen, they're trying to sell you something. What I'm telling you is that I've never seen such a pent up demand of people who want to sell. Something's gonna happen in the market to slow it down. Demand is gonna, is gonna slow at some point. It can't just keep going. You know, $300,000 houses aren't gonna go to a million, I'm sorry. It's gonna stop somewhere, something's gonna happen. Maybe it's interest rates, maybe it's this, that. I don't know. I just know something will happen at some point. What's gonna happen with this pent up demand of sellers? Every seller is going to realize it on the same day. How do you create a great first impression with someone, right? Listen, no, listen, listen. The number one uh, objective for a real estate agent, right? The number one objective, okay, your number one goal every day when you're talking to prospects is not to set an appointment, to get a listing, close a deal, do any of that stuff. The number one objective is, is just to make them feel comfortable with you, right? to make them feel comfortable with you. So let me take you through the process. Once you understand that it's not to set an appointment, but there's not gonna be an appointment if they don't feel comfortable with you. So that's gotta be number one. And then the appointment's somewhere down the line, right? Too many people are going after appointments when obviously it's a very uncomfortable situation. They're just going for it. No, connect first, then convert, right? So the only way to, be, to make them feel comfortable with you is to be comfortable with them. Like, listen, listen, guys, Zero to Diamond. Zero to Diamond wants to take old school scripts of what can the prospect do to help the agent. And I want to 180 that into what can the agent do for the prospect? Understand the philosophy. You know what I mean? Is there anything I can do to help you? What in the world can I do to help you? Because that's what I want. I want to help you. I don't want to sell my house. I ain't selling my house, you crazy realtors. <laughs> Sir, I'm not calling you to, I, good. I don't want to sell your house. I'm just calling to let you know a house sold and see if there's something I can do to help you. You know what I mean? Listen guys, when somebody cusses you out on the phone, you crazy realtors, y'all be calling me all the time. I don't know, I don't know how you got my number, how you get my number. I ain't selling my house, I ain't never selling my house. I hate you guys. Click the hand up the phone. Let me translate that for you. That's her saying, well, hello, Ricky. Thank you so much for calling me. Listen, here's the deal. I'm not interested in doing anything and I'm a little busy right now. So I gotta kind of go and I'm gonna kind of abruptly hang up on you and I hope it doesn't hurt your feelings, but click. That's what they're saying. They just don't know how to articulate their feelings. They're just a bad communicator, right? It's not a personal vendetta against you. How can they judge you? It's been 2.7 seconds. They don't know you. Absolutely not. Business, my friend, is unlimited, right? This business is a filtration process. 
through the population to find that concentrated group of people in your market who love you and want to do business with you. I'm not going to call somebody back to cuss me out. I don't want to do business with them. Oh, well. Hey, listen, man. Hey, anytime someone says, I want to do this, or hey, you know, I'm looking to buy or sell, or, you know, uh, is there anything I want to do for you? No, okay? No or yes, whatever, who cares? Listen, is there an agent you would work with? That's cool, man. I'm glad you don't want to sell your house. Is there an agent you would work with if you were to do something? Cool, listen, man. Even if they have an agent, right? I'm going to add this to the script. Even if they have an agent, say, listen, that's cool. I'm glad you got an agent. I'd still love to stay in touch with you. Was that all right? If they don't have an agent, cool. Listen, I'm sure at some point you'll do something. I'd love the opportunity to work with you. Would I be all right? Would it okay if I stay in touch with you? What's your email address? Let's go. Right? Just go. Listen, man. There's this website. Everybody write it down. This website. Zero <laughs> to diamond.com.